Hi everyone. Um, so welcome to this first video lecture on computer graphics and multimedia. So the, the subject I'll be teaching you is called computer graphics and multimedia. Uh, today we'll start the first unit and uh, before I begin the unit I'd like to um, talk to you about the Google Classroom that we uh, that I have uh, opened up and all of you have registered uh, so far I have uh, only 37 students so I'm expecting more of you to join in uh, because uh, we have to take attendance every day so when you open up the Google Classroom, especially for the computer graphics and multimedia, uh, what I want you to uh, observe is that we've got different sections. And uh, uh, no matter what, there is a section called attendance. And um, I have made two dummy attendance. One is for, for today, uh, the, the fourth, I mean. Um, and I'm recording this video uh, at night time. So uh, probably this will be open tomorrow. Uh, so... Um, if you can see, um, there is an attendance here, so don't forget after you know, tomorrow, 10 o'clock, when your classes are scheduled, after you watch the video or during when the time you're watching the video, when you're downloading this video, uh, you can go to this attendance section and give your attendance. Uh, so this attendance is open all throughout the day tomorrow in case you do not have network or in case you do not have electricity, but this attendance will automatically be disabled after 3 or 4 o'clock tomorrow. So every day, whenever a class is scheduled, don't forget to give in your attendance. Right? That's one part. Second part is, uh, I will be giving all uh, the different units in uh, different uh, sections this way. So like unit one, this is what we're going to start with. And in unit one, you can see a few things I've already uh, scheduled. This is for uh, your uh, future classes. But for now, uh, what I want you to look at is, uh, there is a syllabus so you can open up the syllabus and mostly the, this syllabus is for the whole um, subject but if in case there is a syllabus in every unit then that syllabus will have only the contents uh, pertaining to that particular unit and if there is any extra reference uh, I would like you to see or read for in, our, for in this case I wanted you to have a look at this video before our classes begin this is a short video on how um, computer graphics are beneficial to us today and what is the historical uh, perspective of computer graphics and, and uh, how it has moved from a simple, um, uh, simple image to such complex animations and virtual reality. So please watch this video and um, I'm sure a lot of uh, introductory explanation about computer graphics and multimedia will be clear after you watch this video and then the other section is the notes uh, so i've got dates here also for you so every unit is going to have extra reference for you to see there's going to be syllabus or contents of that unit they're going to have notes so these are notes that are specially made for you um, i've taken the trouble of making them for you or making it easy for you so all notes are going to have um, this computer graphics notes for you. It's a, it's it's called students hands out ha handouts or notes, and this is for unit one of course. And I've got this. Uh, I've neatly written this uh, contents of unit one that is as per your syllabus, and you will have a, a very easy shortened note for you to refer to. So please, uh, for before every class begins, you can always download this, go through this, and then. When you come for uh, the class, the online video, you can have your notes ready with you. You can print it out, you can write it down. And then whenever I'm teaching, once you've read that note, it becomes a lot clearer. And uh, along with the notes, there will always, there'll also be another one called assignments. So time and again, there will be assignments. So every unit is going to have assignments and extra notes, syllabus, and the online video. Okay. So before every online video, there will be certain materials you're supposed to download and look at it. 
like the PPTs, these student notes, these extra references, the syllabus, so all of these you're supposed to look at it. And for the scheduled class, you will always go down to the attendance and give the attendance for that particular day that pops up in your uh, student account. Right. So let's begin. Um, right. So let's begin. So welcome everyone to our to our class for computer graphics and multimedia. I'm Mr. Shirshak Gudung. Uh, I'll be teaching you the subject. So before we begin the class, we, we've got to first uh, ask ourselves a few questions. You know, what is an image? What is graphic? Okay, a simple graphic. It doesn't have to be a computer graphic. What is graphic? So graphic in, is in, it, in, 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 in the most simplest term can be considered as a pictorial representation. It, it can be an image. A picture. Now, picture there is complex pani unsa, there is simple pani unsa. So any complex picture or a complex image is always made from simple objects. So, in the most simplest terms, a picture can be a collection of square, a triangle, a line. So these are the basic objects that make up complex objects. So these, um, the this these basic objects. You know, this this. Um, uh, the base objects that make complex objects these are called primitives in computer graphics okay so these are object primitives or graphic primitives the u primitive linai jodera tapaile a complex object model banu saksa you know the 3d modeling you the cone cylinders 2d modeling of the squares triangles polygons all of these are primitives now so an image is a pictorial representation at its bare, at its bare minimum. It, it represents squares, triangles, points, lines. Now, then if you can, if you want to classify graphic, now that is a graphic. Graphic in the simplest term is squares and triangles. Now, graphic, can you classify graphics further? Now, what are the types of graphics? So, uh, one way of looking at it, look, uh, one way of looking at it is, a graphic can be manual, or graphic can be computer generated. So, our realm of study is going to be computer graphics. So manual graphics is, you know, well known to us. You know, any image that you create manually with the tools that is that, that is available in your surroundings, a pen, a pencil, rulers, paints, drafters, all of these things are manual graphics that one makes. And um, the other is computer graphics. So obviously, as the name suggests, any graphic or any image that you're able to make or generate, store and manipulate uh, with the help of computers. Okay, so you would need certain extra equipments when compared to manual graphics. So, so there are a lot of similarities between manual graphics. Manual graphics are you know, manually made. And computer graphics are those graphics that are made by computers or that is uh, not only made by computers, that is also present in the computer. You can manipulate that through your computer system. And... Um, so if you see the two differences, uh, cost can be one of the difference. So cost is manual graphics banana titi cost lakta ina jati computer graphics banana lakta because you need a lot of equipments and gadgets. That is of course. In time, of course, manual graphics will take a lot of time, you know, because you need to redo things and you do really fine tuning and it's all done through hand. Whereas uh, computer graphics time ma, it is uh, it is far superior. Uh, you could say and it's very efficient. Editing again, editing. I think computer graphics gives you the ability to edit very easily. You know, use erasers, crop, cut, paste, redo. But manual graphics, once you know some mistakes are made, uh, you know you've got to either change the entire painting or the graphic, or you got to somehow camouflage the mistake. You know, there's no obviously edit a very easy editing process in manual graphics. Uh, when it comes to tools. Manual graphic tools are really easily available. Uh, again, but computer graphics tools, you know, you need to go to some, um, you know, uh, shop where uh, all the gadgets are available, the latest gadgets, the hardware and software for computer graphics. So, you know, there are, you know, very prominent differences between manual graphics and computer graphics. Besides these, I want to draw your attention to another difference between a, a manual graphic and a computer graphic. 
Now a manual graphic or an analog graphic is mostly continuous and infinite. You know, infinite. So you if you consider this line, this line that we've drawn, okay. So imagine this is not on a computer screen. Imagine you're drawing a line in a piece of paper from point A to point B. You're drawing a you're drawing a line in a piece of paper with your pencil from point A to point B. Now, when you go from point A to point B, say it's from 1 to 10. You, know, you start at 1 and then you go to 10. Okay, in a piece of paper. I'm not talking about the screen. So, when you draw a line, it is a continuous line. I mean, there is a line at point 1.1. 1. 1. There's a line at 1.2. There's a line at 2.2. .2. You can even break it further. There's, there is a line present there at, if you if you can measure it, it's it, there is a line present there at 1.00001. There is still a line. You know, some segment of the line is there. So, no matter how you know, um, fine-grained you go into this measurement, like 2.001, 2.991, 2.9128, so whatever, whatever the measurement, there is a line segment present there. So, which means these lines, these manual lines, which you draw on a piece of paper, are continuous. You know, there's a value for every uh, measurement. And, and, then, and then these values can go on infinite. You can have 1.00009, and it keeps on going infinite. And more so, these are also, these are not only continuous and infinite, but they are also abstract. In a way, uh, you know, uh, these polygons, these lines, you know, they don't have, uh, they're not always the same shape. You know, the lines can be upward facing, downward facing, polygons can take any shape. So they are not only abstract, they are continuous and infinite. Whereas a computer graphic, if you take this graphic, whatever you're seeing on the screen, the screen is divided into small, 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 small square cells called pixels. This the, the, the computer screen that you're looking at currently. This screen has low, is gridded, which you cannot see the grid. Each grid is called a pixel. You know. So these are so, so you can see if this is the grid, you can see one, two, three, four. This is unit interval. So there is nothing between one. There's nothing called one point five. It's either one they see they jump two or two they see they jump three cha. So unlike this, I'm the manual line banana, there is a line at every point when you make a manual line. But when you draw something on the screen, you know, it's you see the jump. One they two, two they three, three they four. Just imagine there are uh, in this intersection. Just imagine in this intersection there are some some pixels, there are some pixels, there are some pixels. So there are it is not continuous, it is discrete. And it is finite. Finite means the screen was the pixel on sa titimate unsa. So like in this line, I can measure say one yeah the yeah some measure gonna I can take maybe a thousand values. 1.1, 1 1.2, 2.2, 2.3, 3, and there's a value for everywhere. But here, depending on your screen, you've got only one, two, three, four, five, six, there's only eight pixels. So it is not only discrete, but it's also finite. So that is one of the biggest differences between these two graphics. Okay. So then uh, we've got what is a computer graphic? Okay, so we've uh, so we've already answered the question. Any graphic that is generated through a computer system, uh, you create the graphic, you manipulate the graphic, you store the graphic, and you decimate, you display the graphic. If all of that is done through a computer system, it is called computer graphics. So this is uh, neatly given in your notes. If you refer to the notes, here you go. Uh, what is computer graphics? Computer graphics is the use of computers to define, store, manipulate, analyze, and display the pictorial output. So whenever you have an image, and if you can define the image, create the image, I mean, store the image, save it in the computer, manipulate the image, if you can change the colors and shapes and sizes, analyze the image, we'll come to this analysis part a little later. I'll explain this in today's class. And uh, then if you can display the image so through all, all of this through a computer system, it is called computer graphics. Or there are other definitions. Uh, the other definition is the art of drawing pictures. So if you, so it is computer graphics is again an artistic flavored um, field where you can draw pictures for certain entertainment, for education, but picture being the main focus. So if you, if, if you can draw a picture, lines and charts using computers, but of course, with the help of programming and its associated data structures. So the other way of seeing computer graphics is computer graphics data structure. 
मतलब तब ले जून्से पनी इमेज बनाऊँ सा ये वाला मानचे का इमेज बनाऊँ सा तो इसको सेनो 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 डेफिनेशन होन्सा सो इफ यू से यू यू क्रिएटिंग अ कार सो कार में बी मेड बाय टू सर्कल्स थ्री स्क्वेयर्स सम ओवल शेप्स सो ऑल ऑफ दिस बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर्स यू नो हाउ डू यू स्टोर देम इन द कंप्यूटर सो मे बी दिस ट्रीज और क्वार ट्रीज सो दैट सो देर मेनी कॉम्प्लेक्स डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स सो हाउ डू यू स्टोर दिस बेसिक इमेज वैल्यूज इन द कंप्यूटर सो द डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स हैं जो इनसे द ग्राफिक्स इमेज आलने अनि यो डेटा स्ट्रक्चर लाई बनाओ यो डेटा स्ट्रक्चर में वैल्यूज हालने इलाय मैनिपुलेट करने सम सम प्रोग्राम सम लैंग्वेज सम एल्गोरिथम मस्ट बी देर तो एल्गोरिथम लाई इंप्लीमेंट करने सम प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज मस्ट बी देर सो अ प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज विथ सर्टेन एल्गोरिथम टू क्रिएट स्टोर मैनिपुलेट द इमेजेस एंड द इमेज को डेटा स्ट्रक्चर ऑल ऑफ देम कंबाइंड कैन आल्सो बी टर्म्ड एज कंप्यूटर ग्राफिक नाउ द अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट दैट आई सी हियर इन द नोट इज all computer graphic images are made up of number of picture elements called pixels like we already said you know all of uh, the images are this is an image so as soon as you have a computer image a computer graphic so when we talking computer graphics we're talking about an image that has lots and lots of square cells it's made up of square cells and each square cell is called your pixel okay each square cell is called your and this pixel is the smallest unit that you can go to i mean uh, it has an address so these pixels have addresses so i can go to this pixel directly through my programming 5 5 you know i mean 5 row 5 column bhane pachi 5 row here yeah, 5 1 2 3 4 5 and column height 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 5 ma janda i reach that particular pixel so that pixel not only has an address it also has values so you pixel ma kitsa value you know so if you are if it is completely binary if if, if this pixel your pixel can have only one or zero value if this pixel is can be represented by only one bit so your pixel like ek bit le matlab represent garnu saksha bhane it can be either zero or one so zero bane ko black ho one bane ko bright ho so the pixels not only have an address they also have values so images are made of such pixels pixels have addresses and they have values right so um there are a few points to consider please go through this notes okay Th these are things i've already said mm. now now let's come back to uh something of importance right uh here you go if you consider this say for example this is a square okay this is a real image it is somewhere in the computer and this is what you want to display Fine. Now, in order to display an image, which is um, a, a, a manual graphic or, you know, or, or or a digital graphic for that matter, so whenever you want to display this graphic, this graphic has to be plotted onto the screen. Fine. So now, look at this. Jabat abe koi orda manual graphic honja. The manual graphic continuous sa, ani infinite sa. Agi ami line me kora kare. यो मैनुअल ग्राफिक लाई तब कंप्यूटर में डिस्प्ले करना यो कंटिन्स इन्फिनेट ग्राफिक तब डिस्क्रिट और फाइनाइट बनाने पर्यो है ना डिस्क्रिट और फाइनाइट बनाने पर्यो सो दैट मीन्स दे सीम्स टू बी सम काइंड अफ डिफिकल्टी इन प्रोग्रामिंग कंप्यूटर ग्राफिक्स सो तब कंप्यूटर ग्राफिक्स हे इट इज काइंड अफ एन टास्क तो हो प्रब्लम हो बट कस्त खाले प्रब्लम अप्रोक्सिमेशन प्रब्लम सो देर आर मेनी काइंड्स अफ अप्रोक्सिमेशन प्रब्लम्स कंप्यूटर ग्राफिक्स इज वन सच अप्रोक्सिमेशन प्रब्लम्स वे यू अप्रोक्सिमेट तब को रियल इमेज से फर एक्जापल इवेन यू लुक आउटसाइड दर इज अ ब्यूटिफुल सीनरी रो सीनरी तब कंप्यूटर ग्राफिक्स में डिस्प्ले करो एक्जैक्ट कंटिन्स दैट दैट इज अ रियल लाइफ फोटो है कंटिन्स इन्फिनेट फोटो एब्सट्रैक्ट फोटो तो एब्सट्रैक्ट फोटो लंप्यूटर में रिप्रेजेंट कर The continuous infinite photo light, that means discrete finite computer screen, my display got that digital my display got that exact replication. Ono sakte na. You can only make an approximation of the real image. Fine. So tell me got that there are problems 
आउन सक्छ किनभने कोही बेला एक्ज्याक्ट रेप्लिकेसन हुन सक्दैन कोही बेला एक्ज्याक्ट रेप्लिकेसन हुन सक्ला बट द्याट इज अ प्रब्लम द्याट यु आर अलवेज गोइंग टु फाइट विथ एज अ कम्प्युटर ग्राफिक्स इन्जिनियर राइट सो जब तपाईले एउटा रियल इमेज लाई तपाईले कम्प्युटरमा एप्रोक्सिमेट गर्दै छ एउटा मान्छे त्यहाँ उठिराछ त्यो मान्छेको फोटो खिचेर तपाईले यहाँ कम्प्युटरमा त्यो बनाउँदै छ हैन नो म्याटर तपाईको आँखाले त रियलै देख्छ त नो म्याटर हाउ हार्ड वी ट्राई इफ यु गो टु माइन यु डिटेल इट इज नॉट एक्ज्याक्ट सेम रेप्लिका अफ द पर्सन स्टैंडिंग देयर अर द रियल कन्टीन्युअस इमेज हैन त कुन चाहिँ कुन चाहिँ पिक्सेल स्क्रीन मा चाहिँ दिस इज अ स्क्रीन so which are the pixels that you must switch on and off on and off so that it res- it resembles the real image say for example there is a man there the kun chai pixel tapai ko screen ma on off on off on off garda ha tyo manche la exactly resemble garcha so that that process of choosing which pixel would resemble best the real image is called rasterization okay and when the process of tyo continuous image like द प्रोसेस वे वेयर बाई त्यो कंटिन्युअस इमेजलाई हामीले लिएर डिस्क्रिट फाइनाइट बनाउँदैछ त्यसलाई चाहिँ स्क्यान कन्भर्जन भन्छ ओके सो दिस टू कुड कम इन फिल इन द ब्लाङ्क्स सो रेस्टराइजेसन भनेको तपाईँले एउटा कम्प्युटर ग्राफिक्स कम्प्युटरमा जब इमेज बनाउँछ तपाईँले रियल इमेजको एप्रोक्सिमेसन बनाउँदैछ होइन र त्यो एप्रोक्सिमेसन बनाउँदा कुन चाहिँ पिक्सल विच पिक्सल्स सुड बी सेलेक्टेड विच पिक्सल्स सुड नट बी सेलेक्टेड सो द्याट the computer graphics gives the best approximation to the real image that is called rasterization and this process of you know taking this continuous infinite abstract images and converting it into discrete finite images in terms of pixels is called scan conversion so i think uh, so we've somehow summed up uh, what is computer graphics एंड हम कंप्यूटर ग्राफिक्स मत हो सब्जेक्ट को नाम कंप्यूटर ग्राफिक्स एंड मल्टी मीडिया भी हो सो मल्टी मीडिया मल्टी द नेम द नेम इट सेल्फ सेज मल्टी एंड मीडिया ओके सो मल्टी मीडिया मीन दर आर मल्टिपल मीडिया सो इफ मल्टी मीडिया इज मेड यूजिंग मल्टिपल मीडिया लाइक टेक्स्ट ले बनाए टेक्स्ट भी हाल ऑडियो भी हाल एनिमेसन भी हाल भिडियो भी हाल ग्राफिक्स भी हाल अल अफ दम टुगेदर इफ यू Uh, come up with certain uh, medium some media to communicate this is called multi media okay so text you put text graphics uh, audio animation video all of them combined together you get multimedia so image graphics computer graphics only dealing with um, the images the pictorial representations as images created in a computer system Uh, the images that are stored in the computer system the images that are manipulated in the computer system the images that are displayed in the computer system multimedia is when you use a variety of such images you know it could be a text it could be an animation it could be an image it could be a video uh, so all of them together combined to give you a certain communication medium that is called multimedia so before we begin uh, before we go further uh, let's see we've seen that uh, so far we've talked about what is graphic so we said graphic is a pictorial representation at its bare minimum it has primitives primitives when you go basic structures that make complex diagrams and so uh, graphic any graphic can be manual or computer generated computer based if it is computer based image it is called computer graphic uh, there are a lot of dissimilarities between the two uh, one of the main being uh, a real image is continuous and it is um, infinite and whereas the uh, computer graphic is discrete and finite so the process of converting this continuous infinite the process of converting this continuous infinite uh, image to a discrete and finite image on the screen is called scan conversion and uh, the process of choosing which pixels to select so that we can have the best approximation of the real image eura 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 image cha tesko best approximation banaunu sakcha computer ma to kuncha kuncha pixel chhanne which pixels to be selected that is called rasterization we see what is a computer graphic and 
the any graphic that is created manipulated stored in a computer is called computer graphics uh, it can also be um, viewed as computer graphic data structure plus programming plus algorithms multimedia is when you use multiple medias to have a communication medium then we've seen what a computer graphic is now so what are the different types of computer graphics so computer graphic again can be grouped so we've grouped types of graphic into manual and computer now types of computer graphic into non-interactive computer graphics and interactive computer graphics so so these it is confusion China this is very basic uh, interactive computer graphic when you go when you can uh, when you pull it that image when you can interact with that image it's a two-way process you do something and the image you know displays in a certain way you do something again the image displays in a different way for example an interactive website so there's a two-way communication so these things are called interactive computer graphics now when there is a graphic and you cannot interact with it it, you, it only displays and you cannot do anything about it for example a static website now for example um, when you're seeing a video and then you see some titles the names of the movies so these are all static non-interactive computer graphic so mm, there are there are there, there's a lot of advantage with interactive computer graphics and most of our talk throughout this uh, lessons will be for interactive computer graphics where it's a two-way communication between the computer and the user and uh, we have the freedom of really manipulating the images and we have control over the images okay so there are two different types of computer graphics what are they they are in non-interactive computer graphics also called passive graphics so non-interactive is also called passive graphics and you've got an interactive graphic where it is a two-way communication which means we have some control over the image then we come to the next uh, part of the unit it's called conceptual framework so uh, when one wants to build you know some kind of a, a computer graphic system and uh, you need to have some kind of a framework so this is a very um, basic framework now in this framework it is divided into two parts this input device and output device is the hardware part and these three application model application program and graphic system belong to the software part so this is also there in your notes so this is the way conceptual framework yeah make it visible to you yeah so uh, anything left of right of this line is called hardware anything left of this line is called software so the software part has three components the application model the application program and the graphics library now the application program is the environment so for example this this microsoft word this is the environment no? so the application program and you have a program your applications are your applications are that you can you know the you can model your images you're making an image so the application program is the application you know like this microsoft word it's an application where you start to model your uh, images so all those models that you create are here in this application model or slash database fine so application program will make and it's a two-way communication again and the application program will obviously use the graphics library okay which has the graphics library is nothing but a collection of commands Okay, this collection of commands. What 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 will it do? It can take these application model that is defined by the application program and map it on to the display. Right, so it helps you display and create all these application models. And uh, this right hand side of this line is all hardware. So. Uh, in the hardware you've got this uh, input devices display devices and you've got something called a graphic system or a gpu i don't know how many of you've heard of the term gpu because i sure know most of you've heard the term of cpu okay so now uh, there is again I, i'd probably post a video on that that um cpu gpu when you go graphics processing unit or huh? cpu when you go central processing unit huh? so the laptop i'm using has is a cpu based laptop 
the phone or you know the the desktop or laptop that you are viewing this seminar is also probably a cpu based uh, uh, machine but, but if if there are hardcore gamers uh, they will be they will be knowing this uh, term called gpu graphics processing unit so their systems are well equipped with very uh, efficient very uh, costly gpu systems it's kind of a processor but they are dedicated cpus are general processors okay the gpus are dedicated processors specific processors only meant for graphics handling when you play a 3d game you know nowadays so much things are being rendered the environment is being rendered uh, the vehicle the, the the wind the water the dust so, so much rendering is being done so all of them have to be pra parallelly processed no pseudo parallelism it is parallelly being processed so they are so well tuned for displaying graphics at real real time so you you, you have this um, amazing experience of real time experience so a gpu system say hardcore gaming and graphics ko lagi ho haina the ke bhayo bhane ina ko gpu ma arko katham ke cha bhane since they provide so high computational power and they are specific for parallel processing uh, nowadays it is very common practice for people in the artificial intelligence for people in the machine learning fields um, and cloud computing and um, you know big data fee big data people to use computers with gpu instead of cpu okay so that's an additional information then uh, we come to the next part uh, the next unit is the next topic is uh, okay so a simple block diagram of a graphical system so this was a conceptual framework okay this is a conceptual framework this is a framework you know this is the way it goes and now this is a block diagram so this is even more simple than this okay so you can see here there is an input device keyboard mouse pens and uh, this is a processor so the processor computes and uh, here is a memory so whenever you enter some images you know some images are computed how is it computed uh, application model ma uh, application program labor now so write something you know may model something your image is modeled here and graphic system late your application program le banako the application model like uh, output device mein display gar sa you know so so that is being done here and now before it starts before it displayed in the output device before it is displayed in the output device may maybe a monitor or a screen a crt monitor lcd monitor led monitors oled monitors so before it is displayed in the output screen what happens is the entire image whether it's computing just now or whether it's bringing from some hard disk or whether it's coming from memory the entire image is uh, created in this special memory called a frame buffer okay so frame buffer pani oh he grid 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 just the same you know what i'm talking about like this gridy so frame buffer looks something like this right so tapai ko image juncha image goera jun ta ile dekhaunde gareko image cha इमेज गए यहाँ बस फाइन नाउ हर एक ग्रिड में इट इज इट्स अ डिजिटल ग्रिड इट्स इज अ जीरो और वन सो दिज फ्रेम बफर बाट इज प्लटेड इन टू द आउटपुट डिवाइस जस्ट इमेजिन आउटपुट डिवाइस बने के स्क्रीन द दिस स्क्रीन दैट वी आर सींग यू स्क्रीन इज मेड अप अफ वॉट इज मेड अफ अ पिक्सल्स आई अलरेडी टोल्ड यू द स्क्रीन इज मेड अप अफ पिक्सल्स यही हो स्क्रीन में पिक्सल 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 सा कौन से पिक्सल ऑन करनु कौन से पिक्सल ऑफ करनु तो इमेज बनाऊं ना लगी इनफॉरमेशन यो फ्रेम बफर बनाऊं सा ओके सो द फ्रेम बफर आल्सो लुक्स आल्सो लुक्स लाइक दिस आल्सो लुक्स लाइक द स्क्रीन बट दिस इज अ डिजिटल स्क्रीन दिस इज डिजिटल दिस इज डिजिटल ओके एंड दिस इज नॉट डिजिटल बिकज ये तब को स्क्रीन तो डिजिटल होते हैं नहीं तब को स्क्रीन में तो फसफर छोल्टेज करेंट हु दिस नट डिजिटल तब यह फ्रेम बफर इज डिजिटल तुमसे पिक्चर आँच यहाँ पर पिक्चर इज बिंग प्लटेड इन टू द फ्रेम बफर लाइक दिस सो वन 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 को सब पिक्सल अन कर 
जीरो 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 बने सब पिक्सल अफ कर फिर यहाँ वन अन कर अन कर अन कर फ्रेम बफर लक्जैक्टली तब को स्क्रीन में डिस्प्ले हो स्क्रीन में अलरेडी पिक्सल 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 सो लेटस कंसिडर भेरी मिनीम मिनीम में वन पिक्सल इन द स्क्रीन हेज इट्स करस्पोडिंग वन बिट इन द फ्रेम बफर खाली एवं बिट मत फिर वन पिक्सल योग सेकेंड पिक्सल विल हेव ओनली वन बिट सो वन बिट फर वन पिक्सल वन बिट फर वन पिक्सल इज अ मिनीम के होने वन पिक्सल कैन अल्सो हेव मेनी बिट्स दैट विल सी अलिट लेटर ऑन ओके अल फर द बेर मिनीम के वन बिट इन द फ्रेम बफर इज वन पिक्सल इन द स्क्रीन ओके यहाँ बड़ा आईन यहाँ बड़ा भैल्यू आँद इसको अरे ये वन को अरे सी वन को भैल्यू आँद एंड इट कम्स टू रेजिस्टर फ्रम द इट डिस्प्ले कंट्रोलर इट कम्स डिस्प्ले कंट्रोलर एंड फ्रम द डिस्प्ले कंट्रोलर दिस वन वी टॉक दिस पिक्सल सो दिस वन गेट्स कन्वर्टेड टू इट गोज थ्रू दिस सर्किट डीएसी डीएसी बने डिजिटल टू एनलग कन्वर्टर क्योंकि डिजिटल भैल्यू हो वन जीरो कैपेसिटर बन के हो सेमी कंट्रोल के बनने को तो यो वैल्यू विल गेट कन्वर्टेड टू सम एनालॉग सिग्नल सम वोल्टेज एंड दैट वोल्टेज विल कम हियर अनी वन बने को फुल वोल्टेज जीरो बने को नो वोल्टेज सो वन यो वन यहाँ आ रेजिस्टर में तो वन लाई बिट लाई तो डिजिटल बिट लाई एनालग बनाई दीजिए एनालग बने को फाइव वोल्ट फाइव वोल्ट बना फाइव वोल्ट करेन्ट यहाँ लग् स्क्रीन में अभी यहाँ को करेन्ट यहाँ लगने बितिक यहाँ फसफर हो फसफर ग्लो हो ग्लो हो व्हाइट हो सो दैट इज वन टू वन सो दिस इंटायर मेमोरी इज कॉल्ड योर बिट प्लेन ओके कॉल ए बिट प्लेन और फ्रेम बफर दिस इज योर स्क्रीन फुल अफ पिक्सल्स ओके सो ऑल दिस ग्रुप अफ पिक्सल्स ऑल दिस ग्रुप अफ बिट्स दैट फॉर्म एन इमेज इज कॉल्ड अल्सो इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड योर रास्टर ओके सो दीज आर द टर्म्स दैट यू मस्ट remember so let's just go and see a little bit about the frame buffer okay now uh, then the next unit is application of computer graphics okay so before i go then i need to go into what is frame buffer now let's just go to what is frame buffer ओके सो हे कैन सी सो जस्ट लुक एट दिस ओके यो सब बिट 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 है अब इन यू कंसिडरिंग ओनली दिस बिट सो सी दिस बिट दिस बिट को भैल्यू इज इन द रेजिस्टर ओके सब का इज द सेम वे सो दिस भैल्यू इज इन द रेजिस्टर दिस इज जीरो और वन हो तेल ये डीएसी कन्वर्ट कर जीरो रन लोल्टेज में कन्वर्ट कर भोल्टेज में कन्वर्ट कर जीरो इलेक्ट्रोन गन अफ हो वन भलेक्ट्रोन गन अन हो इलेक्ट्रोन इलेक्ट्रोन गन अफ भो तो के नहीं के होता कलर आन इलेक्ट्रोन ये वन छोड़ रेजिस्टर इट विल कन्वर्ट इन टू वोल्टेज इट इलेक्ट्रोन गन विल स्विच अन एंड इट सुट सब इले करेन्ट इन टू द स्क्रीन एंड दैट पिक्सल ते पिक्सल जो पिक्सल ये पिक्सल होता वन टू थ्री फोर वन टू थ्री फोर दिस पिक्सल दिस पिक्सल दिल सुट सम इले करेन्ट इफ द रेजिस्टर वॉज वन इफ द भैल्यू इज वन एंड दिस पिक्सल विल स्टार्ट टू ग्लो ना यो फसफर को विल सी दैट इन द नेक्स्ट यूनिट फसफर के यू सुट सम काइंड अफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन टू द फसफर यह स्क्रीन में फसफर हो पैला को स्क्रीन में नट एलसीडी सीआरटी स्क्रीन में फसफर्स हो इच पिक्सल हेज फसफर 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 मेटेरियल तो यह फसफर मेटेरियल में तब इलेक्ट्रोन गलने करेन्ट हाने वाले इलेक्ट्रॉन्स हाने वाले फसफर गेट्स एक्साइटेड एंड इट्स टास्ट टू ग्लो एंड आफ्टर सम टाइम एनर्जी कन्वर्जन हो एक्साइटमेंट झर्स अभी फिर इट लुजेज इट्स ग्लो सो यह फसफर एक ताल करेन्ट दिदा इलेक्ट्रोन गन ने सुट कर ग्लो हो कति लमो समय ग्लो हो फसफर दैट इज कल्ड पर्सिस्टेंस अफ अ फसफर ओके दैट विल कम टू अगेन लेटर ऑन इसी इमेज बनी अब योग भो ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट इमेज क्योंकि अन अफ अन अफ अन ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट मत हो कैन वी हेव ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट मत है ग्रे ग्रे इमेज समटाइम दैट इज डार्क लाइट ग्रे वेरी लाइट 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 ग्रे डिफ्रेंट शेड्स अफ ब्लैक तस्त खाल इमेज येस दिन वो करेस को लगी विव गट वन फ्रेम बफर विव गट सेकेंड फ्रेम बफर विव गट थर्ड फ्रेम बफर ओके द सेम इमेज ना जो सी यहाँ के थे पैला को में के थे फ्रेम बफर में वन पिक्सल 
from the screen is mapped to one bit in the frame buffer. That's the minimum. You on somebody, you white unza, you black unza, on white unza, you off somebody, you white unza. So on off, on off, on off, on off, the black and white picture unza. Now, here what is it doing is one pixel in the screen is equivalent to same location as this, this first pixel. So this pixel is equal to your pixel plus your pixel plus your pixel. A your bit plus your bit plus your bit. So one pixel is equivalent to three bits in three different bit planes. So there are three frame buffers. Yeah? So for example, let's just take this pixel. Okay. Next pixel, your pixel. Yeah. This one. Second pixel, your sub pixel. So you have a zero answer. You have a one raisa. You have a zero raisa. So zero one zero zero one zero is the representation for this pixel. You know, Okay, math ko example mein kithe one pixel ko only one value hunte, zero ya one. Now one pixel ko there is three bit value zero one zero. So three bit value bane ko two to the power n two to the power three bane ko eight. Na? Eight. So eight are different values hunte. So there are there you can have eight different shades, not just black and white. One pixel can have eight different shades. Your pixel can be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Your pixel can be 0, 0, 1. It can be 0, 1, 0. Like that, it can be 1, 1, 1. So, 0, 0, 0, when you go black, 0, 1, 0, when you go gray, 1, 1, 1, 1, when you go white, so this is what Instead of a black and white image, you can also have a gray image. Similarly, you can also have a, you can also have a color image. For example, here you go. Maybe the uh, maybe I know the first frame buffer is only for the red color, uh, the second frame buffer is only for the green color, and the third frame buffer is only for the blue color. So keep on this. I mean, every pixel ma, you you screen on. So your pixel ma, your first pixel ma, your your first pixel ko color is defined by, isko value first pixel ko value, second frame buffer ko value first pixel and third frame buffer ko first bit ko value. So these three values will determine the color of this first. Pixel. Likewise, for example, this pixel ko like you think the value is. When so the first frame buffer decides, costo khalke red chaki sahi na. Isma green chaki sahi na. Isma blue chaki sahi na. So what is it saying? Zero bani ko no red. New pixel no red. One bani ko green. Green is true. Zero bani ko blue is false. So blue is also off. Red is also off. So this pixel will seem to be green so now first example was black and white image second was some kind of gray shades you about here we are having some kind of green blue orange maybe we can have red and green blue off got you red the green on got you some kind of yellow on you so this to got some kind of very simple color scheme bunny big you so the important thing to take away is the work of this frame buffer Whatever images are displayed on the screen has to be first created in a frame buffer. Frame buffer has lots of bits. Okay. Then uh, after that, we have to the next topic is uh, applications of computer graphics and multimedia. So computer graphics like there, there are a field much alak on There are a lot of fields where our computer graphics are. Uh, applicable um, they are used in CAD CAD when go computer design computer design when go uh, industries when they're making cars when they're making robots when they're making airplanes when they're designing garments so this is a design going to the agari is the complex these bridges so you saw a design going to the agari sachi go banana with the agari they will be making that real replica as a model in the computer so with the help of these softwares called computer design softwares you can make real vehicles, real-time vehicles in the in the in the computer system, and you can uh, find out the size of screws needed, the fire, the size of um, axles needed, the size of shoe horses needed. So all of these sizes, uh, you know, details. You know, you can have three uh, D views. So all of these things can be done uh, for industry purpose, for for um, developmental purpose. So computer graphics is immensely used in these fields. 
presentation graphic so presentation graphic everybody does presentation i am doing a presentation you'll be doing a presentation business people do presentations education people do presentations so everybody does presentation you have graphs charts powerpoints so computer graphics are also used in such presentations <laughs> they're used in uh, computer art you know magazines, digital photography, digital art, photoshops. Um, they are used immensely in entertainment businesses like movies and morphings, uh, videos, video editings, uh, educational and training. Then the simulations are there, the educational softwares are there, uh, Google Classroom images are there. Uh, visualization. Visualization is a process of uh, seeing data in terms of graphs and charts and another big uh, advantage of visualization is see the 2d data sa, 2d data visualize gonna suck so 2d when you go length and breadth 3d when you go to your room just like length breadth and height but when the data becomes complex when it becomes 3d 4d nd you cannot imagine by your own self there are some limitations that we have but the computers don't have limitations and computer graphics gives you the image of nd data pani. 3D Samantha, you can just look at the corner of your room and you know the length, breadth, and height. You can imagine 4D, 5D, 6D, even the data complexity, some you cannot understand the data. You know, if you look at it as a if you visualize it through some kind of picture, if you can visualize it through some kind of graphic, you will understand a lot more. You know, so you'll say data mining and machine learning are more so scientific data analysis. And um, finally, we come to image processing, and this this is this I'll discuss a little later on. And GUI, GUI meaning I'm your button or your start button or your folder ko or so. So you know, yeah, Microsoft Word map ani that you view or you know so the scroll buttons are there, the scroll scrolls are there. So all of these are GUIs. So GUIs helps a lot. Uh, without GUI, I think we would still be in the command prompt, command dikte kare kundi hola. The graphic user interface. Uh, the computer graphic uh, application you know, life it makes our life uh, a lot easier we have computer GUIs uh, we will be writing all codes for everything so there is a small uh, PPT here uh, for uh, the different animations so here you go computer graphics um, they are used in animations like these you know? so these are really complex computer graphics uh, they are used in computer games you know we've all played games and then uh, if you've seen the previous videos the history of computer graphics there you know a lot of these things are explained the medical imaging uh, x-ray scan ct scan uh, cad cams you know see he, industries where you can really design all of these uh, instruments complex abstract and you can have really you know accurate measurements of the nails of the spring size the length the breadth the height the volume um, scientific data visualization look such complex data can have some visual interpretation you know, there are certain data that you cannot visualize it complex data also this is n dimensional so. sometimes when you plot it into some kind of an image it makes a whole lot of different sense that's called visualization so these are the various applications of computer graphics I'll just explain this is in detail mm, and uh, then finally we end off with what is image processing okay now in a computer graphics with a mathematical model there are some you know primitive primitives like object primitives like line um, triangle squares lay combine garera some kind of operation this much union chalara Clipping and uh, integration so, so, so basic objects like here, I'm a picture you know, that's called computer graphics. Image processing is taking an image and converting it back into its basic objects so we can understand, we can analyze uh, uh, that image. Okay, so uh, I will probably show you some kind of uh, programming and computer graphics and image processing the ile image processing ko dherai demand cha tapai le suneko yo machine learning ma classifications 
object detection you know so all of these terms you must have heard so uh, let's just see here okay so image processing when I go there is an input the input is an image image processing my input is an image you know and then the image that probably fine-tune got some number one house why not Photoshop mouse you have most in the fine-tune got it on the belly the big program they automatically is go you use a man here is a one day is go border 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 to town so so this is an object one to tie up an object but it's what Tara you the big of software intelligent by you on the intelligent mother but now I don't you object a Yota man to go court who never is recognizing so you imagine what is happening there's an image so what that's the basic difference between CG and image processing image processing my input na image of CG mother input image when and it can be through in the image matter image processing is other name image even the image line enhance gonna suck the image processing lay and the object detect gonna suck the object detect by her a line what object or you want to suck the so all of these can be implemented with neural networks deep learning so all of these things that is currently going on so this has something to do with image processing okay so I we will show this we will see all of this later on in the um, uh, end of the semesters okay um, so I think we, that is the end of uh, today's uh, lecture uh, there, there is an assignment for you uh, that will be uh, for the next week uh, so I would expect you to do this assignment in the next class we have uh, that is uh, on the that is on the excuse me that is on the 11th so our next class is on the 11th okay our next class is on the 11th and there will be an assignment posted to you something like this and you are required to log in at the right time at 10 o'clock and write these questions down on a piece of paper the piece of paper with a name like no school number like no's your class time two hours once at the two hours with a police of your question or do net but on some mirror notes but on some liquor a hotly like it um photo kichera till a pdf one of them on the number number one to the photo kichera they google classroom ma a google classroom ma the body to assignment down on such as mother will attach her submitted got no so okay so that's for the next class that is next week go day three ma right so thank you very much if there is any questions that you feel you want to ask you can always uh, email me or you can always write it down in the comment comment section in this google classroom and i will uh, answer you uh, in the next class that we have okay so don't forget to fill in the attendance and even next week if i don't have a video but i do have some assignments don't forget to finish your assignments write it down uh, click the photo don't forget to write your name and also don't forget to give your attendance okay so uh, thank you everybody